Hello, thank you for joining us. I'm Ashley Evans and you're watching Black Onyx, bringing you face to face with some of South Africa's most talented asset managers. And today I'm joined by Len Jordan, who's head of ETFs at ABSA. Thank you so much for joining us, Len. Thank you for having me. To start off with, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got to where you are. After leaving school, I studied a Bachelor of Commerce at, at what was Rao in the, back in the day, and then I did an honours degree in economics and left, uh, left university and joined a, a small asset-based finance company where I uh, used to finance medical equipment predominantly. I was then offered a position in the JSE's graduate recruitment program, uh, and I was there for seven years, and that was really my first introduction to derivatives and exchange-traded funds, because by that stage, uh, the JSE had incorporated SAFEX under their, under their banner as well. Um, after that, I joined Rand Merchant Bank and set up the exchange traded fund business uh, in the equities team. And following the three years there, uh, I, I had spent some time in Australia working, working in the Australian business. I uh, joined Stanlib Asset Management and, uh, and set up an exchange traded funds business there. Um, but started using um, unit trusts as well, or issuing uh, new unit trusts. And now I find myself back in investment banking with, with APSA Capital for the last two years. Who is APSA Capital? So APSA Capital has gone through quite a lot of change since I joined. Um, obviously, being part of Barclays, um, when, I, when I initially started, you know, rolling out of the Barclays brand has been quite an interesting journey, I think, probably for people that have been here a lot longer than I have. I find it very exciting. I think uh, the people that I work with are excited about the opportunities in the South African market and also the fact that they won't be dictated, their, their strategy is not going to be di dictated to, they can now come up with their own strategies, I think, is an exciting place for the bank to be as a whole. Your new funds have risk managed in the name. What are these risks? So we've done quite a lot of work on risk premium investing generally. Um, we think that there's a lot of risks that can be exploited um, and risks that should be actively taken by investors. But there are a lot of risks that, that aren't rewarded. And, and that investors should avoid. And um, most of the funds that we issue now try to actively exploit the risks that are awarded in the South African market. So we have a range of risk premium funds, we have a value fund, we have a momentum fund, and we have a, a low volatility fund. And then we've also got into the multi-asset space um, where we try to reduce the volatility of portfolios and reduce the losses of portfolios. And I'll get into a little bit about the logic of those a little bit later. But essentially what those try to do is they try to target a very specific level of volatility in your portfolio. And the logic behind that is that if you can reduce the volatility in your portfolio, you can reduce the losses um, that, that you will experience um, on a day-to-day -day basis. What are some of the risks involved? So the, one of the risks is volatility. Or Volatility isn't a risk on its own, but it's certainly an indicator of risk. You know, volatility would be an indication that there's a lot of uncertainty in the market. So it's, it's an indication that people are unsure about where asset prices should be and that the, that uncertainty often leads to, to market crashes. Uh, the research that we've done would indicate that if you have a sudden spike in volatility in the equity market, you're likely to have a, an immediate, and when I say immediate, within the next 24 hours, you're likely to have an immediate drawdown in your equity portfolio. So we manage our portfolios on a daily basis. We, we get a snapshot of what that volatility is, and we try to mitigate those risks as, as much as we can. Obviously, the main risk um, that we're trying to manage is the risk of losses, and we do that by managing the volatility. So the main risk, uh, to answer your question, is, is the risk of losses, and how we do that is to, is to manage the volatility. Are there any other risks? Uh, the other risks would be um, very excessive exposures to a small number of shares. If the South African market is a case in point, uh, is that if you're exposed to the top 40 index in South Africa, probably the majority of your, or 60% of your price performance is only coming from, from 10 of those stocks. So you, you may as well only be exposed to 10 shares. You know, if you look at the NASPAS problem that we're having at the moment, NASPAS is about 25% of the index right now. Um, that's not a new problem for South Africa. If you look back over time, we've always had very large exposure to a small number of shares. Uh, previously it was the mining stocks, um, and that is something that we try to manage in our portfolios by adopting quite a, an in innovative um, weighting strategy for each of the shares in our portfolio. Len, thank you so much for joining us, and thank you for watching Black Onyx.